Hello, welcome back everybody and hello to anyone who is new. So today our video's theme will be winter. The same things as always will be necessary. So some paper, I have folded mine to make it into a card, but you can do it flat as well. Some water, tissues, your paints, a pencil if you want, as well as a paintbrush. And also I like some spare paper underneath to test out your colors. So today we will be painting penguins, which is our first word of the day. In French, it's un pingouin. The painting today will have three penguins across the paper, but you can do one or two or four if you would like. We'll start by drawing what the penguin will look like over here, just so you get an idea. If you want, you can use the pencil to draw the penguin's outline onto your watercolor paper, but you'll see that I just went right ahead without drawing it. So really it's up to you what you want to do. So today it's going to also be about mixing colors. So we'll make three different shades for the three different penguins. The first penguin is mostly a gray black. So mix some of the dark colors you have, either black or gray, with lots of water and even some white if you want. We'll start by drawing a semicircle, but make sure not to connect it at the top because this will be your penguin's neck. Once you have the shape you want, you can fill it in with some slightly darker gray or black at the bottom. And don't worry if this has dried, you can always take some extra water from the glass and just dab water onto the top of where you had previously painted. Now for the penguin's head, you are going to want to take the darkest color you have with very little water and practice on paper first to join at the top a semicircle like this. Then you draw a bit of an M in the middle like this and use the rest of the paint to fill in the head of the penguin. If you're happy like this, you can leave it, or I wanted to add a nose to my penguin. So you can draw a circle, a triangle, or a diamond at the end of the nose. Then finally the eyes. I think they're cute to be small. So again, take the black color and just do two little dots. Now we will paint the arms of the penguin. So take your gray with more water to add the arms. Now for this penguin, he is going to, or she, be saying hello with a wave. So our second word for today is wave, which in French is salué. Finally, for the feet, take a dark gray or black and draw two circles at the bottom of the penguin like this.
Now for our second penguin, I thought we could make him or her a bit more of a brown color. So you can mix brown in with the black to make a more brown color of gray. Now all the penguins are similar, so it's the same general idea. You can draw a circle without connecting the top. Take a darker version of your color at the bottom and mix it with water. Then once you're happy with that, take black, 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 like with the first penguin, to draw the top of the head. a triangle or a diamond shape for the nose. Two dots for the eyes. and then it will go to the arms. For this penguin, you can do the arms however you would like. I put them at the side of the penguin. And finally, two dots for the feet with a darker color. Now another word for today is snow. Or in French, la neige, which fortunately we don't have much of yet in Montreal. But for us, I thought it was cute to have three penguins on a white background, like penguins in a snowstorm. For our last penguin, I wanted to add a bit more blue to the gray to create a third color of penguin. So I actually took some of my turquoise and mixed it into the same paint. You can take whatever color of blue you want and add it in. We follow the same steps, except this one is going to be wearing a scarf because it's cold. Scarf is our last word of the day, une écharpe in French. Now for the scarf, it depends how dry or wet your painting is. I tried to wait till the top of my penguin was a bit dry. Then you can take whichever color you would like for the scarf. I chose turquoise or blue. and add it just like this.
Now, if like me, your painting was still a little wet at the bottom, you can either leave it as it is, it looks pretty nice, or you can do this where you dab it away to make it dry. Add the bottom of the scarf where you want it to be, and then take some of the gray to fill in the space that you dabbed off. I always say this, but watercolor really is very forgiving, which is fun. Finally, we will give this penguin some arms too, as well as some little black feet. And the very last step is to add some blush to the penguin's cheeks. So you can mix any color of red or pink that you have in with a tiny bit of the gray. So it's a gray pink, as well as a lot of water because we want this to be a light flush on our penguin's cheeks. Then on each penguin, you can draw a little circle or line under their eyes to make it look like they are blushing in the cold. That's it for today. I hope you enjoyed this session of our holiday penguins.